second problem in the lines in the given figure second problem in the given figure lines pq and rs intersect at point o so this is the line pq and rs both are intersecting at intersecting means meet meet at o if angle 1 so if angle 1 is equals to 53 degree find all other angles so we need to find out the other angles so let us start the solution one angle is given that is angle 1 we need to find out the other angles so let us write down what is the given information since we can write down pq so what is this pq pq is a straight line since pq is a straight line so if it is a straight line and on this we can see this or is standing on it okay so or stands on it so therefore we can say that therefore suppose if we are having a line and this is there is a one more lines which is standing on it then we can say that this angle and this angle a and b both are form a linear pair okay so therefore angle one and so what is the other angle which is standing on pq that is angle four so angle one and angle four they are forming form a linear pair of angles next if they are forming a linear pair we know that uh, in a linear pair the sum of angles sum of the angles which is forming a linear pair is 180 degrees so we can say that angle 1 plus angle 4 is equals to 180 degrees so angle 1 is given that is 53 let us write down 53 plus angle 4 is equals to 180 degrees next this 53 goes to that side so angle 4 is equals to 180 minus 53 so angle 4 is equals to now subtract 3 from 10 you will get 7 and 7 minus 5 2 so 127 degrees and next after that we can see that in front of angle a angle 1 in front of angle 1 we are having angle 3 that means we call that angles as vertically opposite angles so let us write down since angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angles so if they are vertically opposite angles we can say that angle 3 is equals to angle 1 so angle 3 is equals to what is angle 1 angle 1 is 53 degrees now we got angle 3 next we will use the same property up of the vertically opposite angles so what is that um, for angle 2 and 4 okay so since angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angles so they are vertically opposite angles so we can say that angle 4 is equals to angle 2 okay so that means if uh, 127 angle 4 is 127 then angle 2 will be 127 so at the ending we can write hence angle 
two is 127 degrees. Angle three is 53 degrees. And angle four is 127 degrees. So these are the required angles.